welcome welcome um this is the energy vibration reading for um the first week of september for the sagittarian sun moon horizon sign oh saggy oh my god saggy okay oh my god saggy um the week begins from the second until the eight and it is the water week is week of love okay so Saji, I'm seeing that your enemies are in reverse, whatever the issue is, whatever that was transpiring. Your enemies are in reverse, so that means you have overpowered your enemies in whatever way and however way they came up and was affecting you, you have overpowered them. That is good. I am seeing having to find inner strength with a house, house situation. I'm seeing you moved away. Um, so you um, you have moved away from your enemies and this is just a short message that came out you have used moved away from your enemies and that's how you bring them down because you have moved out of their space moved away from them and that's how you brought them down I'm seeing you having a very strong foundation um, not yet collaborations but you're having a very fo strong foundation so this is good the collaborations will come up they're not yet in and this is just for some of you someone out there and I'm seeing you need to find balance with a Virgo or find balance with yourself balance it your inner child balance your mighty I am present self wait your wishes and dreams are going to be coming true but just wait okay um, sometimes dreams take longer to come true and this is all that they're saying just wait it's definitely going to be coming true but just wait all right I'm returning these cards in the deck and then I'm gonna shuffle um, I'm calling up and divine light pure light beings uh, the angels and guides to come in and show us the energy of what is going on I'm asking uh, for um, a positive energy vibration for the Sagittarius Sun Moon Horizon Sun first week of September Sagis go and check out the monthly reading they're up and you have a surprise coming up Sagis so whatever is happening all right so we're ready for the Saggy reading, so let's see what is coming out for Saggy. Okay, um, so you young men, uh, 45 years and older, um, younger, um, 18 to 45, whatever the issue is and the situation is, mm, you're not looking that good because you are in the reverse form. Okay, so whatever is happening with you, Sagittarius, now. The Queen of Pentacles, whatever the issue is and situation that you were dealing with, the Queen of Pentacles, she stands very strong. So, whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, she stands extremely strong, very strong, whatever that was happening, whatever that was transpiring, whatever issues you have with this Queen of Pentacles, she stands very strong. You have done some deceptive situation. There was some deceptive situation that is done and um, it's as if the Queen of Pentacles stands strong over you whatever that you have done okay I'm seeing the energy of the lover which is the energy of uh, the weeks energy so what we're seeing is that um, if you're in a relationship with um, um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn I'm seeing that this woman either you or this woman have done something deceptive but the woman stands strong so this woman is basically um, taking you down for whatever the reason is and whatever the Esther inspired this woman is taking you down um, because some deceptive move as transpire and it's as if this person is taking you down okay lies and deception with a relationship so some of you if you're married to a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn um, this is not really for that but if you're married there is some lies and deception that is going to be coming out okay so if you're married just lies and deception doesn't have to do with an earth sign person but there is some lies and deception with the energy of the lovers okay some deception something is going to be coming out whatever is going to be coming out 
it's definitely something that is going to be coming out and you're going to be turning your back and moving forward from this person and this issue it has to do with some of you and relationships so whatever is transpiring it could be a business relationship or it could be a relationship between you and another person there is some deceptiveness there is some deceptiveness and it's coming up especially for married people if you are married or in a long-term relationship there is some deceptiveness so you gotta be careful because there's some lies and deceitfulness and you're going to be finding out about this now for the young people you are in the reverse form for whatever reason you are in the reverse form there's lies and deceptiveness there is a um the two of cups is the center so you're dealing with someone else if there isn't someone else that you're dealing with your higher self is it that you're deceiving yourself whatever is transpiring there's some deception and some of you are dealing with uh, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn this is a business person and I think that they're about to turn their backs to you and start a new journey okay so whoever this person is they are about to turn their backs to you and start a new journey some of you could have done something deceptive to this person this is the reason why this person do not want because in a relationship and marriage there is deception lies and deception in relationship and marriage okay um, you young people are dealing with Aquarian Gemini's and Libra be aware for these people so okay so the love between you and a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is not there anymore whatever the issue is whatever the situation is it could be if your mother is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn there is some conflicts or um, whatever the issue is there's some conflicts and there's some issue there's some situation that is playing out this lady is 45 years and older so whatever that was there whatever the issue is or was uh, um, it is in the reverse now there's some deceptiveness and it has to do with a karmatic situation so um, it could be you because it's coming up as um, you as Sagittarius has done something deceptive to this lady because this lady the Star Wars Virgo or Capricorn lady she 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 will not connect with you anymore um, she holds you off whatever the issue is whatever the reason is she holds you off this is something from a past lifetime and she is disconnecting herself from you okay she has no love for you anymore the love is over so if this was a relationship or a long-term relationship um, whatever it is or it could come up as a mother or it could come up as someone who we have known in past lifetime but this um, um, the energy of the relationship is now changed because um, of deceptiveness I'm seeing you um, um, holding a lot of burdens carrying a lot of burdens and it has to do with people who are married and in relationship you're carrying a lot of burdens whatever the issue is there's a lot of burdens and this burden is because of some deceptive move that has transpired so definitely some deceptive mood I'm seeing lies and deceptiveness in family I'm seeing a lot of you're going to be finding out that your family as uh, uh, there's so much lies and deceptiveness in your family which is unbelievable okay and you're carrying some burden some karmatic situation for families and um, this is where it's at but you're going to be finding out about some lies and deception about your family because this is coming up so this week is a week where relationships with your partner relationship with family members mm. ten of ones ten of um, ten of cups um, and uh, you're having relationship problems so some people have a relationship problem some people having issues with their mom some people are having issues with uh, this could be business partner but the love isn't there anymore whatever is transpiring now you young people between the age of 18 and 45 justice is going to be coming down on you so if you're between the ages of 18 and 45 justice is going to be coming down on you because there's an investigation 
that is taking place so if you're between the age of 18 and 45 justice is coming down there's an investigation that has been taken place against you okay um some of you had some regrets some family regrets or relationship regrets that you're walking away from so some of you have some family regrets or relationship regrets that you are now deciding to walk away from yeah it is family for some of you it is relationship for some of you and some of you are deciding to walk away now whatever it is especially for you young people the love is not there between you and your parents if your parents is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn the love isn't there anymore it is a karmatic situation and it is a, a karmatic burden that you're carrying for the family I'm seeing a lot of marriages is on the stress because of some deceptiveness and some burdensome situation the three tens are out the ten of ones the ten of cups and the ten of swords and um, for some of you is the end of the lies and deception in a family you have turned your back you're looking forward some of you are deciding to build a new relationship with your love you're not seeing a situation or you wasn't seeing a situation but this is going to be getting clearer as you move along because whatever that was there that you weren't seeing it's definitely going to be coming out of the energy of healing a situation between you and someone you were in a relationship with um, and the, the, the possibility do exist but not right now it is a karmatic situation there is so much energy especially people um, uh, 18 to 45 this is um, standing here um, that an healing for a relationship the love is the love is out of the relationship there's no more love anymore that is coming up in this relationship sometimes it is better to let things go because that is what it's saying but the tens are up so whatever it is it is the end and the new beginnings are going to be coming in for you guys there is definitely some deceptiveness um, and the, um, a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn they're not showing any more love because there is a, it's as if this person have really found out what has transpired there is absolutely no more love coming from this person towards you and if you're between the age of 18 and 45 justice is coming down on you and the book is going to be thrown to you so really between the age of 18 and 45 you are in some serious legal problems um, the book is going to be shown at you the energy of the lover is here the ten of cups um, there is lies and deception in the family that is going to be coming out okay so married people you're going to be finding out about some deceptive move with your kids or deceptive move that is coming out I have two cards I have the right hand and the left hand choose one of these right hand or the left hand choose one of these if you choose the right hand, it is Chantal and it says new romance is immense either with a newcomer or through a reunited passion in your existing relationship be open to giving and receiving love okay so this is wonderful so a new love is going to be coming in because after all of this it is the center of your reading and someone new wants to come in but I'm thinking some of you are not trusting anyone and not letting anyone in your life at this moment because of deceptiveness in the past. But trust me, um, this person wants to reunite with you. You're not seeing this, but um, it could be an Aquarius or a Gemini wants to reunite with you. But because of deceptiveness in the past, they are afraid to come in and there was some lies and deception and they are afraid to return but that is what they want if you choose the left on card it is a victory victory your desire is coming to fruitation keep up the good work isn't this wonderful yeah I love this card if I am down and I pick this card it picks me right up this is just so beautiful so wonderful um, this is powerful victory and success your desires is in because I told you um, the ooh, the nine of cups was in the reverse and I told you just wait because you're definitely going to be successful Omega is here Omega is also Omega 3 oil it's good for some of you to 
um, take that. It's a, a three omega fish oil. Good for you to take that. Help you with remembering things. And I want to wish you a wonderful week. Namaste.